Yokoso! Welcome to Count 299. I'm Sean Bradley. Koji desu! First of all, big announcement we have been making YouTube videos officially now for one year. So thank you everyone for commenting and watching our videos and supporting us over the last year. Thank you for everyone who's watched the videos and has actually come to the bar as well and said hello to Koji. He's been very happy to meet all of you as well. So thank you very much. We go straight into the big events over the last couple of weeks and what the current news and what the current events are going on around the world. So we're going to start off by talking about the New Japan G1 Climax. Now Koji has been working obviously at the bar uh, every night with the G1 so he's been watching every single match, uh, every single event, so he's the expert. So today I'm going to let Koji uh, talk to you about the, the G1 tournament so far. So, Koji, what do you think about the G1? Hi, eh, in Japan, Pro Wrestling, every year, the G1 Climax is a tournament. Every year, in the summer, it's very hot. In the summer, it's very hot. In the summer, it's very hot. In the summer, ということで、今年で28回目になります。で、あのまあ、選手の皆さんはすごく大変、いつもよりはね、シングルマッチが多いので、えー、すごく大変な、えー、戦いで、えー、今年も20人かな、うんえー、選手がエントリーしてて、で、まあ、A ブロック10人、B ブロック10人という形で、えー、シングルマッチは各選手9試合ずつ、えー、行って、まあ、決勝まで残れば10試合と。えー、いうすごく大変な試合です、えー、なので、えーまあ、選手の方はねもちろん大変なんですけど、えー、見るファンの方も、えー、約1ヶ月で、えー、行われる大会なので見る試合がいっぱい多いですよね、えー、なので、えー、見る方も大変なんですけどもいい試合がいっぱいあるので、えー、見ていただきたい、えー、大会です。So,、um, to give you an example of how intense the G1、uh, Climax schedule is, so to give you an idea, this is the G1 Climax schedule for this summer. So, Koji, for example, if we look at、uh, July, we've got Tokyo, Tokyo, Hokkaido, Hokkaido. So, imagine, going from, imagine doing two matches in、uh, Tokyo back to back, jumping on a flight, going to Hokkaido. Doing a match, and then the next day, where were we? Back to Tokyo again. Tokyo, 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 Niigata, Shizuoka, Shizuoka, Aichi, Aichi, Kagawa, Kagoshima, Fukuoka, Osaka, Osaka, Osaka again. And then we're going all the way back to Tokyo again, and it continues all the way from, from July all the way through August and September as well as we wrap up and we head into destruction. But that's a really intense schedule. So let's just give you an idea of the background of some of the G1 and the schedule. Okay, so now we're going to look at some of the predictions.、Um, so if you haven't watched any of the matches so far, then spoiler alert, don't watch the next few minutes. With the final blocks, now we've got the A block and the B block. The, the final three in the A block, we have Tanahashi, Okada, and Jay White. And in the B block, we have Naito. Omega and Ibushi. So, Koji,、uh, who, who are your predictions? A block. A block. Well, I'm going to go to the next one. 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 あのーまあ、ヘアスタイル、ヘアカラーかな、yeah. <笑>変えたりとか、えー、あとはまあ入場でね、えー、バルーンを持ってきますよね。<笑><笑>あでも、あのー、最終戦がね、今回日本武道館なんですけど、yeah. 日本武道館は風船が NG みたいな、really? はい、あの風船が飛ばないみたいです。ヘ<笑>ア、ねはいまあ、スタイルとかね、<笑>まあ多分、まあまあ、新しい岡田選手を今、クリエイトしていっている途中だと思うので、うんまあ、それが最終的に優勝という結果になるんじゃないかなと思ってます。はいえー、B ブロックは、えー、期待を込めて、えー、イブス選手を
応援しております、まあ、状況的に非常に厳しくて、まあ、このままいくと内藤さんかなとちょっと思ったりはするのですけども井口、うんえー、選手このシリーズに向けて、えー、仕上がり万全あのものすごく、えー、いい試合をね、えー、頑張ってますのでぜひ、まあ、決勝まで行ってほしいなと思っています、まあ、最終的には優勝は私岡田選手ではないかなと思っていまして、まあ、どうしてもここを優勝するとレスキングダムの、えー、挑戦権がもらえますので。まあ、それでいくとやっぱり今チャンピオンケニーですから、まあ、ケニーへのリマッチを考えると、まあ、岡田選手にまあ頑張っていただきたいなというところも含めまして、まあ、岡田選手ではないかなというふうに私は予想しております。Do you think that Japanese fans want to see Okada vs. Omega one more time? うファンの人が期待しているのはケニー VS イブシです。I think so too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <笑>、はい、まあそれはです。まあもちろんこの日本武道館でも G1 クライマックスでやるんですけども、まあレスルキングダムでとか、IWGP ヘビーウェイトチャンピオンシップでケニー VS イブシが見たいというファンの場合は一番多いと思います。Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think so too. It, it could be the end of the Golden Lovers,、uh, like the breakup, or it could be just like a Friendly match, maybe it's, it's hard to say with those final six people.、Uh, so, Tanahashi, Okada, Jay White, Naito, Omega, and Ibushi. With Kenny being champion, there are so many different matches, different possibilities, different storylines that could go. Personally, for me,、uh, I want to see Jay White. I want to see Jay White take it because I don't think that Tanahashi or Okada, I don't think they need to win the G1. They, they've been on top, they've been the champion, they've won all the tournaments, they've won all the belts. And I think it's time for kind of young blood、mm. and some kind of fresh, fresh faces. So I really think that Jay White should really be pushed into that、uh, spot. His, his promo work、uh, backstage at the moment has been brilliant. The very uncomfortable video where he, he grabs the camera woman, he's like, Isu. My itch, or could I say, kind of thing. And it was like, ooh. And even for me, that made me feel like really uncomfortable, kind of like, ooh, he's grabbing her by the face.、Um, but that's really that's great heel work that makes you dislike him. It's like, how dare you grab someone by the face and kind of demand you have a chair? And then the, the following tournament, he, he was presented with the chair. He's like, oh, this is for you, that does all. And he didn't even sit down. That's, ah.、Oh, So simple, like really simple bad guy heel work. So I'd really love to see Jay White kind of be pushed into main event. I think. So moving on to other parts of the world, the WWE have obviously announced the Mae Young Classic Part 2. So this year we have three of Japan's top competitors coming from Japan over into WWE.、Uh, in the last video, we talked about Io Shirai and Io Shirai's event because she was leaving Japan. And that she had signed with、uh, WWE.、Uh, at that time, we weren't allowed to say anything because obviously it was top secret.、Uh, but she told me a c o a c h that she was going to America. So sorry. Yeah, we knew that she was going. But、uh, obviously, confidentiality, we can't kind of say those kind of things. But it's great to see her over in America now to a worldwide audience. Like, we're so happy that she's going to be able to show the world what she can do. Aside from Io Shirai, who we talked about last time,、uh, we also have Meiko Satomura. Now, Meiko Satomura is from Sendai Girls. She is essentially a Yokozuna of Japan, right? Koji, what, what do you know about Meiko Satomura? Satomura is a Joshi Pro Rest Kai. I'm going to go to the Yokozuna. I'm going to go to the Yokozuna. まあ、ストロングスタイルですよね。Yes. うん、やっぱり日本の女子プロレスの、まあ、スタイルを、まあ、継承している数少ない選手の一人で、まあ、ジャパニーズスタイルは本当、里村選手の試合を見ていただければお分かりいただけるんじゃないでしょうかという選手なので、メイヤングに、ね、選ばれたことはすごくいいことだと思います。
I mean, with Meiko Satsumura being the age that she is, uh, I I can't see her winning the Mae Young Classic. As much as I want to see her, uh, maybe in the finals or something, that would be great. But I think her role in this tournament will be to enhance the younger talent to kind of push them, make them look good. Uh, at the same time, making herself look good, which will give her more promotion for Sendai Girls as well, and then maybe people will check uh, Sendai Girls and research like, oh, who is Miko Satomura? I've mentioned it before as well about uh, Gaia Girls, which was a documentary back in 2000. Uh, everyone's seen that famous drop kick, and that is Miko Satomura, if you didn't already know. So yeah, like Koji said, very strong style, hard hitting, so we can expect a lot of high impact from her. The third person of the tournament, which was a very surprising mm. announcement, Hiroyo Matamoto. Uh, she debuted about 10 years ago, maybe? Mm. maybe mm. Something like that. But she actually has a nickname. Mm. Her nickname is the Lady Destroyer, or... Akai Suru Onna. Uh, now, the reason she obtained this name was because in her debut match with Ice Ribbon in Ichigaya, she actually broke one of the walls. So she was dubbed the Lady Destroyer, which is why when she comes out in Japan, like her entrance theme is very kind of Godzilla-esque. Uh, she wears a Godzilla mask. So those are the three main competitors, but how about predictions? So predictions for the Mae Young Classic. Obviously we have lots of uh, entrants from around the world. I've got the full list here from all the different countries. You know, you've got America, Japan, Scotland, England, India, China, uh, Brazil, Wales, Australia, Canada, China. It's there's so many. Uh, it's so great to see so much talent from around the world. Personally, I'm going to focus mainly on those that have appeared in stardom. So people like uh, Diona Perazzo, obviously Io Shirai, Hiroyo Matsumoto, Meiko Satomura, obviously she's appeared on in stardom a few times as well. A Tony Storm, Zaya Brookside, there's lots of stardom talent in there, so it'd be interesting to see. As far as predictions go, who, who do you think, Cody, who do you think is going to win? You should start. Hmm. Ah, Kitai will come to me. Yes, Iyo Shirai. やっぱ優勝してほしいなと思ってますよ。うん。まあ、結果わからないですけど、そのうん、やっぱりまあ、まず日本の女子プロレスのレベルが僕の中では世界一だと思います。日本が今一番世界で、あの女子プロレスが一
girls from all around the world and there's, there's a lot of girls here who I've never seen before I, I don't know you know I've heard the name but it's really difficult to say you know there could be a surprise someone that we, we don't know like oh who's this oh they're the winner <laughs> oh and like that kind of shock you know maybe but yeah, we'll have to wait and see. I'm trying to avoid spoilers for the Mae Young Classic. Uh, so if you know who the winner is or, or you know the semi-finals, please don't tell me. Please keep it a secret uh, or use hashtags on, on Twitter because at, at the moment I, I don't know anything. Okay, so please don't spoil it for me. <laughs> so speaking of stardom with the Mae Young Classic, uh, a couple of weeks ago, uh, myself and my friend Martin went to one of the stardom shows in Osaka. So we interviewed a few fans and we asked them the following questions uh, which were provided by you guys on Reddit uh, and Twitter as well. Um, we asked the stardom fans uh, how often do you attend shows? We asked them who do they think the ace of stardom is now? Who do they think is the most popular wrestler with overseas fans? Which is quite a difficult question. What do they think about foreign wrestlers in stardom uh, coming in and kind of winning championships and that type of thing? And also, what do they think about wrestlers who established themselves in stardom and have now moved overseas? So, for example, the Yoshidai Kaisei. So, uh, let's find out what these people think. So, let's take a look. Skika. <笑>え、でも今日 <2 回目やからペースって言われると>、<笑> スキー<笑> サラダ。また今井選手。正規軍のエース。きっと選手です。今赤いベルトの竹内選手。理由は海外、海外、それはスターだもんな感じ。ああ。影さんって岩田にかな。本当だしな。海外のファンか。海外。だから。意外とスターライトキットとかいいんだよね。ないの。名やし、ジャパニーズ。あの、<笑><笑><笑><笑> やっぱ今 
これからどの選手が注目されるか。選手。バイバー。バイバー。<笑>めちゃ綺麗。ペ<笑>ッピンさん。正,正直あんまりワイパーぐらいわからないね。ワイパーぐらいしかあんまり馴染みない。あんまりスターダムしか来ないもん。パフォーマンス込みで見てて楽しいので、もっと頑張ってたくさん出場してほしいです。日本とスタイルが違うから、それは見てて楽しい。今日のメインのワイパー。見ただけで強いし、すごいこう、分かりやすい選手やから、すごい人気がいいというか、すごい好きというか、見ただけで分かるというか、すごい。そうですね、まあ、トニーストームにしても、バイパーにしても、ケイリー・レイにしても、去年、メイヤングクラシック出たりして、やっぱり。そのあたりがやっぱりもうすでに認められてる部分があるのかなと思います。すごい強い。確かに。ラ<笑><笑>ファイパー選手すごい好きなんですよ。彼女のような選手がこれからもして活躍してしてくれることを。日本人選手と違ってパワフルなところだと思います。<笑>興味ないっていうのは嘘になるかもしれないけど、まあ一応ここでおられた方々やから、まあ頑張ってほしいっていうのは全然ある。うん、そうね、全然リオもカイリも全然好きですよ。全然ダブダブいい。全然頑張ってほしいし、まだね。日本公園帰ってきてほしいね。行き始めたのが最近なんですよ。あんまあんまわかんない。あまり深く。白井洋選手の最後の試合はすごく感動して、サルトの時はすごい泣いちゃいました。そうですね。まあアスカみたいに海外に活躍して盛り上がったりとかしてるし。まだまあ、いやスマックダウンとか、それ出てないんですけど、出てほしいし、まだ応援してます。そうです、今、まあ、まあ、帰り戦に関しては、その、第1回のメイヤングクラシックに出て、で、白井洋に関しては、次の第2回のメイヤングクラシックに出るって決まってるんで。まあ、興味は持ち続けてますし、まあ、今年の大会の結果、優勝で2年連続日本人優勝で、もう最終的に日本人対決の王座戦とか、出たらいいなと思って、はい、初めて来たので、ちょっと分かりません、ごめんなさい。今も興味もちろんありますすこれからの動ききがすごく気になるので特に今、帰る選手がすごい海外では人気があって、リオ選手もこれからすごく世界中の人を魅了できるような選手だと思っているので、これからの活躍、期待しています。Now it's time for our regular segment, our wrestler of the month.、Uh, very difficult this month because there's so many great matches,、uh, so many great wrestlers, so many things coming on. Koji, who is your wrestler of the month? はい、えー、私が選ぶレスラーオブマンスは友広石選手です、まあ、いつも MVP な試合してるんですけどね、ロンド選手は。<笑>まあでもやっぱり g 1の,、ね、あの試合を見ると、またあの感じることが多いというか、はい、あの素晴らしいレースだなと思います。えーまあ、今回、まあ、優勝争いね、加われてはないんですけども、まあ、今あの、ニュージャパンでもね、あのケニー・オメガ選手がベストマットマシーンという、ねまあ、ニックネームをついているんですけど、まあ、石井選手もね、石井選手こそ、まあ、ジャパニーズベストマットマシーンですよ
ね。うん、というぐらい、まあ、どの試合でもベストバウトを、ね、しっかりと、ね、作っていく、ね、試合が多くて、えーまあ、G1 でいくと、まあ、もちろんベストバウト多いんですけども、まあ、中でも井口、えー、選手と戦った試合であったりとか、ケニオメガ選手。うんこの間の大阪であったんですけどね、まあ、その試合だったりとか、えー、ぜひね、えー、これもチャンピオンシップクラスのベストバウトなので、ぜひ皆さんに見ていただきたい試合が多かったので、えー、石井選手を狙いました。Yeah, good choice.、Um, I remember the Ibushi and、uh, Ishii match.、Uh, I, was, I was here at the bar,、uh, just finished work, and I came back, and Koji was like, oh, Look at this, check this, check this. Like, he was excited to show me this match. I was like, oh, okay. And we put the G1 on, and、uh, as soon as the match started, it was just like, bang, bang. I was like, ooh, 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 like this kind of this reaction. And Koji was like, ah, mother, mother. Yeah, not, not yet, not yet. Just wait, just wait. I was like, what? And then、uh, Ibushi did the, the moonsault off the balcony, and I was like, whoa, oh my god. And then, Mother, mother, no, not yet. And I was like, what? How can it get better than this? And then when he started just like punching me in, in the throat,、yeah. I, like, I was sat here just like holding my, oh, oh, God. Like, it was so difficult to watch, but fantastic match. Yeah, so if you haven't seen it yet, please, please check it out.、Uh, my wrestler of the month, I'm going to stick with the Joshi theme. My wrestler of the month is Mika Iwata from Sendai Girls. Miko has been proving herself over the past couple of years as one of the top players in Sendai Girls. I think one of her best matches would be with、uh, Hana Kimura、uh, back from Wrestle One in April、uh, this year.、Uh, really fantastic match that really puts her in the spotlight and shows what she can do as a singles competitor.、Uh, usually in Sendai Girls,、um, she tag teams with Alex Lee, who is a really good Australian wrestler, but she's primarily based in Japan. And With、uh, Sendai Girls. But this match that Mika had with Hana in、uh, Wrestle One was so mind blowing. I think all of Twitter were kind of sharing it, recommending it.、Uh, if you haven't already, I strongly suggest you go and check it out. But I imagine Mika Iwata from, from here on and in the future, I think she definitely has the chance to become number one contender、uh, for some of the top titles in the world of Joshi. And,、uh, Set my girls as well. Okay, so last month we didn't have a competition because I didn't have anything to give away, so I'm very sorry.、Um, but this month we're going to make up for it with some extra special prizes. This month we've been talking a lot about Io Shirai and her appearance in m a n y o n Classic. So for this month's competition, we are going to give away. Wow! This is、uh, one of Io Shirai's、uh, final photo books that she made before she left Japan. It's not cheap, <laughs> it's quite expensive. <laughs>、uh, but I wanted to give you guys something special because it's like our one year anniversary.、Um, so, this is the, the main, main prize. Now, I know some fans out there who are not really interested in kind of Joshi. So, for those people who aren't interested in this type of book, I'm also giving away at the same time with this book. Uh, a very retro issue of、oh. Pro Wrestle Weekly. <laughs> Can you tell who this guy is? Yeah. <laughs> It's Suzuki. Look how handsome he looks back in the day. <laughs>、uh, so, yeah, this is really old. When, when's this from? 19...、Oh, 1993. There you go. So, 1993. I think this is probably older than some of you guys. So,、uh, you can obviously stand a chance with winning、uh, both. Both of these books, I'll put them together.、Oh. Uh, all you have to do if you want to be in with a chance of winning these books, all I want you to do is on Twitter just retweet the, the video. I'll, I'll show you which tweet you need to retweet.、Uh, and then in the next video, I'll go through all of the people who have retweeted、uh, and then choose someone at random.、Uh, that's all you need to do. You don't need to follow us. You can if you want to. <laughs> You don't need to subscribe on YouTube. You can if you want to.、Uh, all you need to do to win the competition is retweet it on Twitter. Okay? That's everything for today. Thank you very much for joining us for our one year anniversary and talking about the G1 and the Manual Classic and for checking out the interviews as well.、Uh, just before we leave, I just want to give a couple of special shout outs、uh, to some people. Obviously, a、uh, massive thank you to Johnny who provides us with the subtitles every month. Without him, it would take me so long to make subtitles. So, 
I always thank him for making some vocals. Also, I want to give a special shout out to Dismantle, who are a clothing company based in Japan who make pro wrestling t-shirts. You can find them on Instagram, uh, dismantle underscore chiba, uh, and you can find all the designs on there. In fact, this, this design of uh, Io Shirai and her sister uh, Mio uh, is actually by them as well. So if you like this design, obviously go and check out their other designs. They do limited runs of t-shirts, so if you do see a design that you like, make sure that you buy it because it's very unlikely that they'll get printed again. You probably remember my cheese t-shirts from last month. <laughs> Kai Zane and uh, Chris Hero, or uh, Cassius Ono, have also been supporting Dismantle and providing uh, us with a photo showing that they love their t-shirts as well. ちょうど大阪では3日と4日大阪大会G1クライマックスのね大会があったわけですけどもちょうどね試合の後で勝頼柴田選手が遊びに来てくれましたまあ柴田選手今欠場中でね G1クライマックスには出てはいないんですけど